Charge your sleep from the sound of their pain Long gone, long gone, long gone Long gone and out of this world Now your hope and compassion is gone It sold out your dream to the world Stay dead, stay dead, stay dead You're dead and out of this world Their skin's so white Fish their stockings and her monkey boots Red Indies got a jacket Parachute, she's a vampire She's a vampire Vampire scar Get out some garlic Put on a cross A ray of sunlight that I stink through her heart She's a vampire Need a boy who can cuddle with me all night Keep me warm, love me long, be my sunlight Tell me lies, we can argue, we can fight Yeah, we did it before, but we'll do it tonight Afro, rude boy with the gold teeth He dark skin, looking at me like you know me I wonder if he got the G or the B Let me find out if he come on over to me These days are way too lonely I'm missing out, I know These days are way too lonely Hello, Sarah. Hello, and hello, Internet. Welcome to welcome to the stream. Um, it's gonna be super chill tonight. 
uh, working on a cover. What cover am I doing today? That's for that's for the chat to figure out. <laughs> um, I never tell what my covers are on the streams. Um, sometimes on Twitch I do, but that's because people on Twitch earn it by being on Twitch. Um, yeah, let's get started. Um, oh, cool. I've been so busy lately, and I just want to, like, sleep for five days. That'll be ideal, but also not. Ska now with more Eve 6 than ever. Yeah, it's pretty tight. It is not Mitski. Um, not a Mitski cover. I, d I already did a Mits Mitski cover, actually, with a uh, Sim from Insignificant Other. Um... Sarah, you might know this song. You might you when you figure it out, you I, I don't know what your reaction might be when you figure out what song it is. If you figure out what song it is. Um when I record the guitar, it's gonna be really obvious because the hook of the song I'm doing on guitar. Um so uh sorry in advance if you hate it. Am I on YouTube or Twitch? I'm on YouTube. Um, my what's it called? My setup is still the Twitch uh, thing is in the corner um, because I just didn't want to. I mean, I could just make it go away. I, I guess there now it's gone. <laughs> now it's not there. Um, I don't really think about that. Um, I hope I'm not live on Twitch. No, nah, I shouldn't be. Hey, yo, fuck technology. All my homies hate technology. Only 90s kids remember the Stone Age. Bet. The dial-up noise still haunts my dreams. No. Alright, that doesn't have to be as loud as it is. Is it less than Jake? Nope, I don't cover ska bands. Um, that one. Um. Let's do a Tom there. Let's do that one and then let's. And then we'll actually, we'll copy this. Technology bad. Technology bad. I curse the day they drag me out of my swamp and force me to work a nine to five. <sighs> Yo, I'm jealous of whatever you're doing now. I 
I just want my shit to work. Um, yeah, I feel that. That's how I feel half the time whenever I'm dealing with stuff. Ah, oh, there's no, I didn't do any kick drum for any of this, but the first note. Um. It's not, it's, it's not Welcome to the Black Parade. I tried talking in. You said I might not like it. I'm going through all the meme songs from high school. I didn't. I didn't say it was from high school. Um. Is this a ska cover of the Cars for the Cars for commercial? I'm not even sure what that means. I can't even try to guess. The vast majority of ska two covers. I have to go look up the original, um, and then come back. That's so funny. Uh, the tempo one, let's try 144. Nope, let's try 154. Let's just do that much. Cars for Kids commercial. Oh, I, I still don't I still don't know what that is. Turn this volume in my ears down a little, just a little bit. Can we get a hint? It's a relatively new song. Everybody has heard it before. Unless you're like one of those weird people that like live under a rock and absolutely hears nothing. 
um, you know, regardless how big it gets. Like when people were commenting on my Lil Nas X cover, people were like, I've never heard this song before. I'm like, eh. I get that the song came out like a week ago, but also I feel like you literally just have to isolate yourself from existence to not hear like Lil Nas X. You don't do ska bands, but would you cover, do a cover of Tear, Tears of a Clown? Probably not. Um, I always said if I ever did a ska cover, it'd be a tribute to like the Scottalites or something like that. But um, I really try to stay away from covering uh, ska bands. Can we get, can we get a better hint? It's a popular song. I'll say that. When I start recording the guitar, you'll probably get it. Most of the time, it's probably not possible to tell off just off of the drums alone. Um, nope, glue tool, no. That's... I don't know if it's on the charts right now. It probably is. Anybody on TikTok knows this song for sure. I actually didn't even actually I was I went to go cover this song and I didn't know how big it was until um because I heard it on TikTok and I was like, I mean I've heard it a shit ton on TikTok. And I was like, oh shit, that'd be actually be a really cool cover. And then I started to like like learn it, and then I was like, oh, this song's really big. I didn't realize this song was really big. I have a lung affection, and I'm afraid I'll crash before I guess it. Oh no, I listen to a lot of indie music. Don't really listen to mainstream stuff, not because I don't like it, but I'm not exposed to it that much. Yeah, but there's just certain levels of things. Like if someone said to me, I've never heard Old Town Road, I'm gonna be or or um, or any Lil Nas X song that's like charting at this point, I'd be like, you're just lying. There's literally it's in everything. It's in commercials. It's all over social media. Like you, like you just have to be completely disconnected and live in the woods to not to not to not hear certain things. You know, like I'm like, do you just like not go on the internet at all? If you don't, then I'm probably not talking to you about it on the internet. You know, like it's literally everywhere. Let's let's start that over again. Casey Musgraves. It, it is not Casey Musgraves. Um, do I want this? I think I kind of want this to be faster. Um, let's try 162. I've definitely seen the name Lil Nas X. You've definitely heard a Lil Nas X song. I refuse to believe anyone has never heard a Lil Nas X song at this point. Shut up, Sarah. tiktok so i already have here uh i already heard music set up yeah but like even like twitter like straight up i can't go i can't scroll on twitter for more than a minute without seeing Lil nas x pop up like there's more ways than just like commercials especially like unless you're like are you paying for like 
uh, what's it called? Like YouTube, oh, what is it called? YouTube premium? Is that what it is when you don't see anything at all? Like it's literally like everywhere. Like any, any social media algorithm. I saw a little Nas X cover of Jolene. Yeah. I mean like at this point I'm like, I don't, I just don't believe anyone's not, if you're on the internet in any capacity or if you talk to people in any capacity, I'm like, you've heard a, no, a little Nas X uh, cover. Wow, people actually pay for YouTube Premium, damn. Since you use YouTube Music, I guess that makes sense. I always forget YouTube Music is a thing. Is it that cold heart song? I don't think it's I don't think it's that cold heart song. Is it put your loving loving hands out baby song are you just like listing songs that are on the charts right now uh, i don't know any, i don't know uh, it's none of those songs you can get zero commercials on like six six youtube accounts no let's not do that These are viral songs that have made it to the radio. Oh. I don't think this is a song that went viral and then went onto the radio, though. That's the thing. I don't, I'm not entirely sure about that. Um. Actually, we're going to do something different. Right, let's, just, let's try that. Um, <laughs> you give up. Tell us the genre of the original song. Pop. Yeah, pop is a pretty good. <laughs> Twisted sister, we're not going to take it. Nope. How about this? When I start recording the guitar, I'll give the first letter of the artist if no one gets it almost immediately because once you hear the line, you're probably going to get it. Because um, I feel like if I just give a bunch of hints that are unrelated and it's just going to become a people keep throwing random names into the chat um, until some, someone says it. Hello? We're gonna go back to the ride for that. And then I think I wanna go. I 
like this video, I do this pretty regularly on Twitch. Uh, I took a little time where I wasn't doing regularly, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty much back to streaming on Twitch. About once a week. I'm going to probably develop a schedule at some point soon. Most likely on Wednesdays because those are my days off. Um, I've just been so busy and it's like every week my schedule is a little different. So it's hard to make a consistent stream schedule. But... Heard what? Let's bring this up a little. My bong. Hmm. Shit's good. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Sorry. This shit's good. Oh, I don't know what that feel was, but. I don't know what that feel was either. Hold on. I can't I can't do all of the things that I want to do with that. So we're gonna do break it up. Um let's add a little What was I doing there? Alright. That record's so good. The Precure album, it's so good. Oh, you heard like the sound for a big thank you? That might be from Twitch. Someone might have fo just followed me on Twitch. Um, if you heard like, if you heard that, um, it should have showed up on on the screen too. It would have said like, oh, this person's now following you. Um, that audio has not been working. So if someone did just follow me on Twitch, oh yeah, ha, huh, King Fetus six six six. Oh, a few people did. Um, yeah, that audio hasn't been working. Uh, when I do stream unless it has been again for a while it wasn't so I don't know why it is now But if you hear that and you see that then that means people are following me over on uh, on Twitter. I know it shows up on screen, but it has the audio hasn't been working or wasn't working for a while I guess it, it is now Streamlabs is weird. Sometimes things don't work and then they do work um, That's what I've learned over time, but but yeah, so that means someone followed me on Twitch Which to, to, to that I say a big thank you I don't hear any of the stream stuff through my ears. My ears is just what I hear in Logic, so. Is anyone protesting corn? No, why? What's happening with corn?
interesting. And people say Florida's weird. Y'all you know, are pro protesting corn syrup. People are angry about it. Yo, imagine if people got as angry about, I don't know, black people getting murdered as they did about, you know, corn. I'm just saying. What if we just, what if we just told them that the corn is, uh, that the police are supported by corn and then suddenly they completely abolish the police. Let's do it. <laughs> That wasn't the right, uh... What do corn and cops have in common? I don't know what. I had a joke, but then I bailed on it. It was, oh no. Scott's not there. Hell yeah, it's not. So we're gonna... Every time I hear Scott's Not Dead, I think of that Christian song that's like, my God's not dead, he's surely alive and he's living on the inside, roaring like a lion, but with Scott. I have no idea what song that is. <laughs> but it sounds hype. It sounds like bars to me. My God's not dead, he surely is alive, and he's living inside, roaring like a lion. Have you seen this gigantic robot kills by MC Lars and the Aquabats? Oh my gosh, yes. I was listening to that back in high school. I'm with you on that one going on, on a full... 
I'm with you on that one. We're going on a full run. Let's go full motherfucking shadow run. Wait, what's happening? What about a shadow run? It's white people worship music and it's bland. The only the only song I know is the Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is a friend of mine. The goat of all songs. Wait, how's it go? Jesus is a f friend, f friend of mine. Jesus, ah, Jesus, I can't, do, I can't do that rhythm in the upstrokes. I guess. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is a friend of mine. He taught me how to live my life as it should be, or something like that. <laughs> What is that song? Oh my god, go look up Jesus is My Friend by Sonseed. It's a fucking ska song from the 70s that this random church made. And it went viral like two years ago and took over the internet. And everyone was like, what is this? But for for how terrible it is, it actually kind of slaps. It's it, it's it's so funny and good, but like, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Go watch it. It's like when you the first 30 seconds you're watching it, you're gonna be like, what the literal fuck? And then by the end of the song, you're going to be like, Jesus is a friend of mine. And if you stop before you get to the end, and about three days after watching it, you're going to find yourself singing it to yourself for like days. You, yeah, that song's that song's, a, that song's a banger. Straight up. It's on my Scott playlist, I think. I remember when Chaz got on stage with MC Lo No? Wait, wait, what? Oh, wait, was that at Warp Tour? I think I do remember that. <laughs> I think he just unlocked a... A memory for me. That's not the right plug-in. <laughs> um. I'm going to add a little... A little retardando. Okay, it's a little too fast. Oh my lord, please help me. God, I'm calling for your help right now. All right. Uh <laughs> um, one and two and three and... I think we can use that. And now the Jesus song is stuck in my head for the first time in year in years. You should listen to it all the time. Why don't why is it not always stuck in your head? You taught me how to turn You taught me how to You taught me how to turn my cheek when people Or what what key is that song in? That's it. It's E. Jesus is a friend. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I had a friend in Jesus. He taught me how to live my life as it should be. He taught me how to turn my cheek when people laugh at me. I've had friends before, I can tell you that. He's one that'll never leave you flat. Jesus is a... Jesus. Jesus, ah. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus, Jesus. My 
brain's not my brain's not big enough and wrinkly enough to do both of those at once yet. Maybe I don't pray enough or something. I don't know. You should do the Simpsons, uh, Sky Punk. Gennaro is requested over on Patreon. Patreon is the the thing that keeps this channel going for just four dollars a month. You can what's it called? Request up. To, you can request songs for just four dollars a month and. I mean, most covers I do at this point are pulled from the Patreon requests. Um, yeah, almost everything that I do at this point is is Patreon requested in one way. I have so many that I've built up. Um, but yeah, I can always leave requests over there. That's kind of how I've, how I've been picking picking my covers at this point. I am Jesus's co-pilot. I think pastor TikTok is one of the funniest corners of TikTok that I have gotten on. Um, be, uh, well, specifically black pastor TikTok. Um, I don't know about white pastor TikTok. I feel like that's just racist. Uh, black pastor TikTok, though, is is really, really funny. Um, because, like, just in general, black folk just grow up, like, you know, in the church and stuff like that. Like, going to church is very common and, like being involved in that is like very common but like it's not like you know it's like very like it's just like its own complete complete thing and i recently went down a rabbit hole i found i found a pastor on tiktok that just makes comedy videos and it's so funny because they're like they're really bad facebook quality videos you know with like the white the white box over the video that says the text of what's happening it's like that level and normally in any other circumstance i'd be like i this is the worst why are videos like this still being made but lord those videos are so funny um i can't help it it they're too good i have a pretty tradition when i meet someone on youtube um that i like it's a a blessing a blessing of kind of blessing blessing of wait it's like a blessing of kinds a blessing of i think i know what you mean by that i think <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'm done with the drums. I didn't check if I'm done with the drums. Um, I think I would have tried to convert you to Christianity if we talked more in middle school. That's so funny. Were we ever in band together in middle school? Were you in one ensemble your seventh grade year? I don't even remember euphonium being an instrument back then. I was so ignorant. You were? Heck yeah. With Christina? Oh my goodness. I think the drums are good. I use the chart. The drums are good. Um, whenever I use a chart, they're good. Whenever I don't chart it out, it's like they're not. Um, no, they're normally good. Let's see here now. Let's see. Hi hat. Rack tom. This is definitely the most tedious part of doing any cover. Um, floor tom. That's what comes next. All right, and oh, Jesus, oh, goodness gracious. Um, those down there. Biggest band or song inspirations? 
um, for you. Honestly, it all depends. I don't like really have like one or even a few sources of inspiration. I, mean, I get so much inspiration from from so many corners, so many corners of music. Um, obviously, with like covers, each cover I'm trying to make sound like at least some some sort. Some covers are a little more obvious, specifically covers with like music that I'm trying to sound like. Like Hello Nas X cover, I was listening to a lot of um, Two Tone at the time um so i was going for like a very like two-tone vibe with like a little bit of fish but i was also listening to a lot of fishbone um and stuff like that but with, like my personal music that i make with like like under jer and um and other music and stuff like that there's so many inspirations like that that genre of like alternative or indie right now like that indie punk that is sounds like like 90s alternative is like the biggest uh source of where is it? Oh, here it is. This big one of the biggest sources of like inspiration. I have a insp I have a Jer inspo playlist. Uh, if you go on the Jer Spotify, it go down to the bottom where it has like the the artist playlists. So I have an inspiration playlist, and it has a lot of stuff like a lot of the ska side of it is like a lot of uh what's that label? Bad Time Records, um stuff or like Jeff Rosenstock's. Well, it doesn't actually really have. I I haven't updated it since before uh, since Ska Dream has come out, but. Like, Jeff Rosenstock's music is on here. Like, Susie True, Bad Moves, Pup. Um, that indie punk uh, sound, like Illuminati Hotties, The Beth, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it all depends on a lot. Like, I also draw a lot of inspiration outside of, uh, like, even music with bands. Like, I think as, like, a person and how I want to be as an artist, I one of my biggest inspirations is, like, No Name. Um if you know anything about No Name, she just straight up is an incredible person. Literally used her platform to to create a, a, a mutual aid network um, and educate people on like on what's it called on like revolutionary ideas and has created like a, a radical a radical leftist library and in LA and they ship out books to like incarcerated folks so they can like educate themselves while they're in prison just like doing ridiculously crazy shit that's making like an impact on like that level is like or I want to be as like an artist um which is like super super dope and like obviously No Name's not the only artist to do that but I think No Name is like one of the better ones and also No Name like takes no shit like people will say dumb shit and No Name would literally like rip their fucking heads off on social media and make them look like a goddamn clown and I'm fucking here for it it's so goddamn sick um in your description you're telling people you're telling yourself to follow you're telling yourself to follow you on Twitch I'm telling myself to follow me on Twitch um I don't even know what the description is to be quite honest <laughs> Let me look at it. Um, I mean, I want people to follow me on Twitch. I want people on all my socials to realize that I'm on other socials. Um, I don't really stream regularly on, on YouTube, but I do stream more on Twitch. Where is, like, the entire Google Chrome window? Anyway, I'll look at it later. Bad Moves was in Craig of the Creek. Yeah. Um, actually, fun fact, I'm homies with some of the folks in Bad Moves. And um, one of their guitarists is actually playing guitar uh for jer when we play with jeff rosenstock um in the northeast so if you're gonna by chance be at those scott dream shows one of the members of bad moves will be playing lead guitar for the jer set which is going to be really really exciting um notice me senpai hello um josh grobin i don't know who josh grobin is or grobin however you pronounce that um let's turn my guitar let's turn my guitar amp on um bang. I need my uh capo for this one. Uh okay. Oh jeez. Gotta go. Well, thanks for hanging out. Bye. Please give me a tuner. I think I just messed up.
So in order to play this guitar lead, I need to go into an alternate tuning. Only the guitar lead is going to be in it, though, in the alternate tuning. Everything else is going to be in standard. Might I consider following me on Twitch? Yeah, like, oh, like if you like what if you like the live streams that are that you are watching, might I consider you follow me on Twitch? There should be a U in there. That's the issue with that uh, with that sentence. to this song. I mean, I guess I don't need those strings, but... emo sorry <laughs> i haven't made or played emo in so long um after doing that duet chain on tiktok with like the girl screaming into the phone and making it into midwest emo i listened to a bit and then the world is put out a record um what's it called this week as well which is a good record if you did not know that the world is a beautiful place. I'm no longer afraid to die. you consider maybe i don't know the colonizers language is weird like the colonizers themselves i do the same thing <laughs> You know what really fucking pisses me off about, about English? Solomon. 
What other fucking word in this language has a silent L? Fuck that word. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck salmon. I don't fuck nah. Fuck that. Fuck that. No other goddamn no other goddamn language word in the English language has a silent L. No. Um, something is phasey. Oh, I see. I see a big issue. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. How did I not notice that? Um. Oh my gosh. There's like a. There's a lot of layers. Hold on. Let me go one by one. Actually, let me do it up here. I totally forgot to do the thing where I have to clear out all of the other drums on these tracks. So there's like... Chalk? No, there's a, there's an L in there. It's very faint, but there is. Um, the overhead keeps those. So... Half? I don't agree with any of these examples. I feel like I can feel my, my tongue doing... Doing the L shape on all of those. Like, would, would, could, should. Yeah, I don't agree with those. Not It's not like salmon. Salmon, like, my tongue does not go down. The L is what makes your tongue go down on all, like, chalk. Like, your tongue goes down when you say that with walk, with half. Like, your tongue goes down by saying those. But with salmon, like, no, that's some fucking bullshit. That's some fake-ass shit. Like, your tongue goes up on that word. Like, no, I don't believe in that. Half. I don't pronounce half half like half. Like half? No, I don't say that. Oh, that's half a sandwich. No, I say that's half a sandwich. Half. You can hear the L. It's very it's very slight, but but you got me fucked up if you think I'm saying half. Oh, you got half a sandwich. No, I don't say that. be like a a, a a regional dialect thing then because my tongue absolutely does say it when I say that how and I, now you're just making up words what wait wait what is that word even the word no trips me up every time the first first rule of the English language there our there are no rules What cover are we working on? Colonel. See, but that, that, that's like, that just doesn't even, that whole word doesn't make sense. I feel like that shouldn't even count because like the entire word is spelled different. Tortilla. You see, but that's not English. Tortilla, that, that's, that's from Spanish. I mean, like, I don't know if the word itself is Spanish, but like the way it's pronounced comes from like this pr the Spanish pronunciations. So like.
Sarah, yes. I told you I told you once I play the guitar part, y'all will get it. Yes, it's 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 uh stay by that artist no one knows but featuring I don't know, people might know that artist, but now wait until y'all see who's singing on this cover with me. Not an R in sight. Not an R in sight. What happened to all my crash track? All right. Um. Wait, did I just? I just cloned it. That's what happened. I cloned the wrong track. That's probably why it took a million years to load. Um. That makes a little more sense. All right. Now let's double this. I'll show a rad cover when I go back to the list. And to the original, all I'm going to hear is the sad boy, the sad boy emo chords. Yeah, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, yeah, this needs to be played as an emo song. It's not Candace. Why did I do that? I haven't done that this whole time. <laughs> You've been questioning my whole life with that ghost L. <laughs> now take this ghost L. Let's do this next part.
Emo steady, baby. Folk. <laughs> folk or folk? Folk. It's definitely folk. Folk. Yeah. That one's that one that one's a much more like yeah. Yeah, folk. Let's do this for real, for real this time. Um, I should have a little practice. I haven't played that one up to that tempo yet. Where the track is going is Emo Steady, baby. Definitely the Emo Rock Steady mix that I've been slowly developing more and more over time. Emo Steady is the future. You've heard people, what, what do you hear people say, folk? like polk i mean i say polk p-o-l-k polk like okay. i might want to do a different amp for this one of what I want. Cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> That's what you say, folk? Oh, no. Cool whip. What is this amp?
Justin Bieber was in Title Fight. <laughs> I, th that's why this song is so big. It's because it, it that riff is so good. Fender Twin. So let's go back up to F. Jesus Christ, I'm in TH. Wait, hold on. Let's try this. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. The Vox AC30, which is the same amp that I have. I got it for, to play emo. No wonder why I like it. I need to count that intro. One, two, three, four, one. Now I need to not play the intro like doo doo. One, two, three, four. Yes, it is a Kemper. Oh, and I just peeked on that DI track. So let's turn that down a little, a little bit more. I want Scott with it. Skull to network. No, stop right now. I canceled. Um, I like how the chat just obsessed with L's. Were, and meanwhile, uh, is working his. Uh, oh, by the way, my pronouns are they them. But yes, I am working my, my, my hands. That's typically how my streams go. <laughs> that intro i think i need to turn this up a little more and this up a little more that might get annoying when i'm mixing they're, they're in their own world over there oh, i'm definitely reading the chat don't you worry <laughs> Lord, that intro. Three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, what color shirts do you prefer? I love wear. It depends on my mood for the day, but I really love wearing yellow. Um, yellow is probably my favorite color to wear. I also really like wearing red. Um, 
Yeah, it all depends on the day. Um, mostly like bold colors, like the primaries, like and, well, I guess not primaries because green isn't primary. But like the bold colors, I really like wearing anything with the bold color. I also like wearing like kind of those like that like faded like '90s colors, like that like that kind of faded turquoise or teal uh, co color that is like utilized in a lot of like '90s clothes, like teal and purple. That combo is really good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, one. This is why I tell my students to count all the time in marching band. Two, three, four, one. Counting out loud literally helps so much. Three, four, one. My finger keeps stopping the ringing. Four, one. Uh, wrong string. Two, three, four, one. <laughs> what mood are you in when you hate salmon? I, 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 I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm vegan. <laughs> Maybe a free the fish vibe. Two, three, four. <laughs> My palm on my picking hand and then my finger on this hand keeps <sighs> one, two, three, four. I was just playing it so maybe I just need to like literally lay back to play it more chill because I was doing that earlier. Try to punch that last, those last. Um, let's punch in here. And what color shirt is that mood? Great question. I don't think it's necessarily a mood thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's a great question. Fishbone. What about them? Nice. Let's go ahead and double that now. You know my... <laughs> you know, you know, my ex-wife misses me. But sometimes... My, <laughs> my, my ex-wife misses me sometimes. But her aim is getting better! <laughs> so good. When the bass hits that four on the floor. Oh yeah, the four on the floor, so good. Let's play on the right string. I'm gonna try a different amp for... 
No, I'm not. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna do this on this amp again, and then I might try to layer that with another amp after that. Only because it's really annoying resetting the settings, and I have to do more on this song. Try this in open tuning. Fuck it, you know? Fuck it. Fishbone because of the shirt. Like the shirt I'm wearing right now? Chaka Chaka. Oh my God, the whole time. I was two minutes behind you. That makes sense, because you were kind of replying things like... <laughs> I just realized and probably why I'm having a hard time right now um I do not send all of the drums the drums into the mix that I normally do and so they're really low that's probably why I'm having a hard time right now um Let's go ahead and...
Wallace Chuckas. So let's start here, here now, yeah. God, emo works so damn well over a rock steady beat. I'm telling you, emo steady is the future. I need to water her. structured or I added I added a whole last thing I'm gonna I'll, I'll fix that later I don't want to go back and do all that chopping right now I definitely d did that wrong whoopsie daisies all right um well, whatever it's fine Tweeted your next shirt really? Oh no. All right, let's double this. afraid to see that. <laughs> Let's 
start from the from the breakdown. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, I can start. I'm gonna start from here. This needs to be quantized. There's a lot of drum inconsistency, specifically on this last course only. I don't know why. I copied and pasted it. Maybe I quantized after. Maybe the first one just wasn't quantized and it didn't mess me up. I don't know. Um, these were. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, only one of them was off. Huh. Maybe it just glitched because there was something weird going on with the drums. Um, specifically, it was a kick that was off, and then there was also a hi hat that was off. Maybe they just glitched. That's not it. I need more of those high voices on that last hit. Let's double all, let's double all that. Let's hit that harmonic again. Go shower for the first time in four days because sick. I love you. Love you too. Also, yes, please shower.
do gender is do gender neutral uh, it all depends on the person um i feel like anything can be gender neutral um but depending on the person who's asking like i don't care about dude you know um dude doesn't bother me but if someone who is like hey i don't like being called dude then don't call them dude um I just successfully turned my dog's barking to a sound. What to use in Muse score? Okay, Toby Fox. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if someone doesn't want to be called dude, then just don't call them dude. And you should just learn to ask. The same way you should like get yourself into the habit of learning to ask people's pronouns rather than just like possibly potentially misgendering people until you then find out about their pronouns you should also make it a habit to just start asking people like when you ask for their pronouns just be like hey is it okay if i use dude this is a word i use and if they say no then just don't call them that all right now i want to try that on a on a fender amp so let's go all the way up all the way up to f jesus I should just order another USB cable so I can open up the Kemper app on my computer because this is ridiculous. All right, let's see. Oh. Oh. That's Midwest as fuck. That's whoop as fuck. Babe woke up, the new mom jeans just dropped. Double the um, 
the emo riffs after the slow intro. <laughs> Ah, we're not doing the the downbeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thanks for hanging around as we debated about Silent Elves. <laughs> didn't hear the American football riff in there, but you probably heard something very similar to it. I did like, I did that, which like, was just used a lot. Like a lot of hammering, hammering patterns like that are used a lot in uh, emo music. That's how, that was actually, I was playing a riff from a, another song that I wrote before. Wait, I'm sorry. Um, I have a capo on, so. I was playing that over that, that chorus. And... Yeah, they definitely make your hands hurt just in general, even without that. Oh, I have to double all of this. Haha. <laughs> Three, four. 
Oh, let's double it on the right track. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> track I was just recording actually. <laughs> so fucking hot so easily I'm like dying it's like whenever I'm recording and my computer just gets really hot and makes this room really hot is all that it is cricket hello howdy it is going um let's switch to another amp let's go ahead and go over higher to favorites Let's do one of my emo amps. I think it's this one. quadruple these guitars.
let's actually let's make new tracks for these. God, it's gonna have so many guitar tracks on it. Having a ton of different guitar trucks a bad thing? Not necessarily. It just all needs to be in tune. That's. Let's double that. Add those to the first chorus.
have time to mass to what's it called to be a multi instrumental instrumentalist um partially is because i've been playing since middle school um and i started picking up instruments like i picked up bass in eighth grade i picked up piano i took piano lessons in eighth grade i picked up bass in seventh grade actually i think um and i was playing trumpet in band um and then the more instruments you learn the more you start to realize that it's like the same fundamentals for a lot of them especially like within the families um and then the third part is uh i'm not mastering these instruments i'm just good enough at what i need to be good at on them not trying to adios chair and the scouting family have a great night thanks for hanging out still here that in I have to punch it in is what I'm gonna say Wrong. and I'm probably gonna need to turn the gain up to get that yeah I'm gonna need a higher gain so what I'm gonna do is So Midwest.
I'm not on the West Coast. It's only when I am. Eichlers would be hype, honestly. If I wasn't already doing this cover with somebody else, I would actually go hit up Eichlers, because that'd be so good, but... God, that's that's such a good idea. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna have like guitar. Uh, what's it called? Skanks. It might be all uh, what's it called? C keys doing, doing that. But I'm gonna record them just in case because I don't want to pick up my guitar once. Once I'm done recording this. Oh my god, there's so many guitar tracks. <sighs>
that's clipping. So let's turn that down. Uh, what are we working on? Uh, the song is called Stay. Uh, I forget. I, I always forget. What's his name? Something kid. Um, it's fe it features Justin Bieber. It's a huge song right now. The the kid Lo Lori. Lori, is that how you pronounce his name? No L's. <laughs> thing wrong I can see that. Especially with the, the guitar strokes. Ah. One, two, three, four, one.
let's try that again. Let's hit that last one again. Especially the tremolo part reminds me of a, sp a very specific part. I feel like every emo band that was do on that whole wave of like emo revival in like the early 2010s was doing that tremolo stuff. Guitar is finally done. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. But everything else should go pretty quickly. Actually, I have no idea what the bass is going to do for this song yet. Okay, there we go. Like Glass Beach. Oh, yes. Glass Beach definitely does that. The tremolo. I 
actually, instead of piano, let's try this. I just need that. Uh, the keyboard is a whole vibe. So good. <laughs> they slash them. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Me and my friends and I always joke about starting a, a, a band called They Slash Them. <laughs> is like Yeah, dude is fine by me personally. I don't really care about uh care about dude. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, let's add some Oregon. Oregon, I barely know him. All right, um... Nope, let's not do that. Take me out to the ball game, sound an ass organ. Um, let's do this one. This is my softer organ. Logic, bro. In case you didn't, if anyone was wondering.
keep messing that up.
time. I don't think I've heard either of those artists before. So I can't confirm nor deny. Let's see. It's time for me to change these strings. They are quite shitty sounding. Um, I guess I'll just record whatever. I had a pretty cool bass line going in there at some point in the second verse. <laughs> where the guy goes on a quest and gets the odyssey oh hi huh, yes the odyssey yes i wouldn't have guessed that but but sure yes <laughs> So sick.
Can't say I'm a fan of this stuff.
Sorry, I should have been naming these tracks this whole time and I wasn't, and I'm regretting it now as I'm like assigning things. Uh... <laughs> As a, as a album of the year. Thank you so much. Can't stop listening to Ordinary Life lately. Thank you.
that's how I felt for like the last four years or five years. I'm like, there's so much good music coming out. Got to hit the hay. Good night, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. I'm actually about to end this stream myself. Um, because I am so tired and I finished everything I want to do. All of the rhythm section. I just don't know how the vocal melody goes. I know how the song goes. It's gonna be hot. Emo Steady 2021, baby. <laughs> song used in the undying battle was the used in the comic toby fox actually did a bit of music for the flash comic uh if you have the time wait toby toby fox was involved with homestuck i feel like that's i feel like that might be a piece of knowledge everyone knows but i don't know that actually um All right, cool. I think this is good for today. All right, I'm gonna end this stream. Uh, for those who are watching, I don't even—I haven't checked the analytics literally since this stream started. I've got 15 people watching. Got almost 3,000 playbacks throughout the whole night, which is pretty cool. Um, so anyone who's watching now, who is gonna start? Who? Oh, haha. When I shrank the window, it made logic disappear on the stream. Um, to anyone watching now, or to anyone who might be watching this in the future, I do this pretty regularly over on Twitch. So go ahead and follow me on Twitch, Scott2Network. It's linked in the bio of this. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to end this stream. Bye, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Peace.